Thank you everyone for subscribing to Infinitely Productions. If it is you have not done so, please click the bell and subscribe and we hope you enjoy our content. The federal prosecutors broke their silence to declare a major victory in their ongoing war against the mob. We have taken down the family for the third time and this is a great accomplishment. It is probably unique in the annals of prosecution of organized crime. John Stanford's family had nothing to say as they left court. No comment. Nothing to say at all. Mrs. Stanford, do you have anything to say? No comment. While his family was keeping quiet, the jury heard an outburst from Stanford earlier during the forfeiture phase of the trial. That's how Mr. Stanford we got over the obstacles between him and getting a nice house. Uh, you, know, I don't know. you know, I've got a mortgage. I don't got no money from you. Mr. Stanford, I can't show you the mortgage. Mr. Stanford, you, you're a, the argument here being presented by the one side. Yeah, my wife ain't got a thing to lie and, and listen, for two months. In the end, the jury was sent home after failing to reach a decision on forfeiture. The convicted mobsters may be able to keep their homes, but their families are still the big losers. I never thought that my husband would never come home. I've, I've never thought about that. While Stanfa and his soldiers were facing the music, their alleged mob rival, Joey Merlino, the man they tried so hard to kill, was throwing a holiday party for the homeless. I don't want to see nobody in jail. Stanford. Nobody. The verdicts are in, but it's not over yet. This was only phase one of the Stanford mob trials. Another eight alleged associates of John Stanford will be back here in federal court in February for their trial. I'm David Henry, Channel 6 Action News. By the dozens, homeless people now living in an abandoned North Philadelphia church crowded into this famous South Philadelphia coffee shop for a fancy Thanksgiving dinner. A turkey and all the trimming spread, courtesy of one Joey Merlino, reputed mafia underboss, growing more powerful by the day, according to experts on the underworld. But Merlino was hailed by the leader of this homeless band. This is a good example of somebody that doesn't just say that um, they care about those that are less fortunate, but somebody who's actually doing something for those of us that um, are down and out right now in Philadelphia. Merlino and his lawyers say all this is not window dressing to improve his public image. I always did it. I always donated to the poor and the homeless for years. I never had a party, but I always donated. My family, always. And you'll be doing this every year for now? Every year. Joey, I have to ask you about Mr. Stanford because of all the people. It's, it's not about Mr. Stanford. It's about the homeless. Stanford. It's about the homeless. It's about having a nice time for nice people. It's not about anybody else or anybody uh, connected with anybody else. It's about else. kids. It's not about that. You're worried about other things. Merlino even had a Santa Claus on hand to give out presents to the children. I later ask him again about today's conviction of his mob rival, John Stanford. I don't want to see nobody in jail. I got a new suit on. It's going to rain. You don't want to see anybody what? I don't want to see nobody in jail. Nobody.
It's a wonderful thing, and I don't think there's an ulterior motive. People are asking why you're doing it. You're doing it because it's a nice thing to do. I think that's the best way uh, to be able to lend a helping hand to people less fortunate is what you're supposed to be about. Yeah. You understand we have to ask you about what happened in federal court. Do you have any comment no, on No, it? Comment. no comment. No comment at all? Any feeling about it? No comment. Mr. Stanford was long considered your arrival. You're talking about he attempted to uh, attempt convicted of no attempting comment. to murder you. Not even answering the question. It's about homeless. This is about, about attempting to murder. It's about dinner and about having it's a about nice kids. time. It's about kids. about having fun. Santa Claus and elves and a good time and not about federal court or any kind of court or any kind of crimes or any kind of who's after who. Nobody's after anybody. Everybody's just here to have a wonderful time. Sorry, a lot of people would say this is more about you, about trying to polish up your image than helping these people. What would you well, say? Well, a lot of people who would say that would not be very nice people because the people that are making it's it like the circus is the news media. If there were no news media here, the people would still be eating, they'd still be having a nice time, and we didn't invite these people down. You came down because you wanted to come down to make it the event that you wanted to make it. Joey, can you answer that question? Uh, he just answered it. It's for the kids. I'm not polishing up nothing. Now, uh, and in response to you, we did get a press release inviting us all down. We're I think, yeah, Pashok Avenue did it. Well, we the Avenue did we, it. We certainly didn't do it, but I mean, these people are entitled to have a nice day in peace without it being hounded. A lot of them might be embarrassed that they're in this position and might not want this, you know, televised. And I saw when they came in, a couple people maybe were shying away from the cameras. So, you know, you have to have a little deference to them. You have to have a little respect for another human being. And I think that uh, it's about making someone else have a nice time. That's what it's about. How did you get your, the idea to do this? I always did it. I always donated to the poor and the homeless for years. I never had a party, but I always donated. My family, always. And you'll be doing this every year? For every year. Joey, I have to ask you about Mr. Stanford because of all the people. It's, it's, it's not about Mr. It's, it's about the homeless. Stanford. It's about the homeless. It's about having a nice time for nice people. It's not about anybody else or anybody uh, connected with anybody else. It's about else. kids. It's not about that. You're worried about other things. Well, it's Santa Claus when he comes with these things. Do you feel the government will be coming after you now? Right after you. Well, the government's going to be coming after be in me all my life. And they're always going to try and prosecute people who they think are committing crimes. When they find out that there are no crimes being committed, they'll look for someone else. But there are some who say that now that the Stanford trial is over and there's conviction in, now they're going to focus on you. Well, they've probably been focusing on him. And, you know, I'm sure that if they think that he's doing something wrong, if they find that he is, I'm sure they're going to prosecute him. And if they don't, I'm sure they won't. Are you glad Stanford was convicted? After all, he is convicted of trying to kill you. Why he keep on asking the same question about the same thing that he's not going to answer and he can't answer about? Uh, it's a I don't want to see nobody in jail. I got a new suit on. It's going to rain. You don't want to see anybody what? I don't want to see nobody in jail. Including Stanford? Nobody.
must be uh, taking the back line. Nothing to say at all. Mrs. Stampo, do you have anything to say? Um, have you talked to your husband? I got to say. Do you think they were picking on you? They asked you who. They asked you who you were. You said you said everybody knew who you were, and that when they knew who you were. Normal. 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 Joey, you got off. Joey, you released. Go back to work. I think it's safe. Cool. Sorry. Do you have any comments? How about you? Back to work. Do you want to go to the front? Fuck. Sorry. Okay. What do you think? Okay. 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 You feel good? Go go. 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 <laughs> Joey, are you glad that she's all over there? Yeah. We still break time? Going to work.
just because the case is going to take uh, longer than the ordinary case takes in there. Of course, there's a number of witnesses, no, no other reason. And what are the witnesses going to say? Can you tell us? What? Uh, you'll, hear, you'll hear them when they testify. Oh, they're going to say he wasn't drinking that night? So they're going to tell the truth, no, if you know that. Watch your back, Brad. Watch your back. Watch your back. Brad, watch your back. What? Jesus. The guy's going to kill each other. What's he doing that thing? Any comment about the stand for Toro? Wish him luck. Watch the threat. Why Far behind. Oh, uh, Think so? Yeah. Confident? Obviously. I'm not uh, going to go on your own, they say he wasn't drunk, and that's how you look. Thank you. Excuse me, excuse me. See you later, man. Of course. Not as fast as you think. Yeah.
It was a sweeping conviction. There were 37 counts against John Stanfa and the seven others. There were 37 guilty verdicts. The defendants reacted with stoic silence. Their mothers, wives, and children, however, openly wept in the courtroom. Defendants Stanfa and Frank Martinez will get life in prison. The others face 40 to 80 years behind bars. They could not have looked at all the evidence and come back with a guilty verdict on every camp. Our present state of mind is that we're just despondent about the result of the case and the family's uh, hysterical about it. I really can't comment on anything more than that. Uh, I assume we'll appeal. For weeks, the prosecutors had presented secretly recorded tapes of the mob planning multiple crimes. It presented turncoats who swore that Stanford and company was immersed in a war against a mob faction led by Joey Merlino. One such battle was caught on videotape. There was also testimony three killings had been ordered. Defense attorneys finally admitted today that all the evidence was just overwhelming. It was insurmountable for me, uh, you know, between the combination of tapes, witnesses, and the fact that there was a surviving, surviving victim of a hit who actually testified against me. I'm familiar with no RICO prosecution in the past where you actually had a survivor get up on the witness stand and show two bullets in the back of his head. That survivor, mob hitman John Vesey, who proudly wore this tattoo illustrating his line of work as a mob enforcer. He is considered the prosecutor's star witness. We are pleased with the verdict. We can't comment any further than that right now. We will comment further after the forfeiture verdict is rendered. Minutes after the guilty verdicts, the prosecutors moved to strip the Stanfa mob of its property. The government asked the jury to forfeit mob cash and real estate, including Stanfa's family home in New Jersey, his Philadelphia business, Continental Food Distributors, and a Stanfa-owned diner. At that, convicted mob boss Stanfa stood up in court and protested. For more than two months, the families of John Stanfa and his seven co-defendants came to the federal courthouse in support of their loved ones. Today, they wept in court, and at one point, John Stanfa asked his family why they were crying. As the verdicts were read, some of the tears turned to uncontrollable sobs. Sobs for the men who will spend most, if not all, of their lives in jail. I never thought that my husband would never come home. I've, I've never thought about that. We've always kept up hope and faith and prayed to the Lord that he would be coming home, and he's not. I just can't think of that. Defendant Frank Martinez, like John Stanfa, will be sentenced to life. Government His wife, Maria, said her husband never killed anyone, unlike the government witnesses who helped convict him and the others. We're Thanks. just all in shock right now, and we just think that the government is very unfair to let cold-blooded killers get off get paid for killing people, get new houses, and that's the message that they're sending out to people. Get me out and kill, but we'll take care of you. The family of John Stanfa, his wife Lena, and two of their children, Sarah and Joseph, had no comment on the verdicts. The wives we spoke with are bitter over the government's prosecution of this case. They say their husbands may have been involved in gambling operations, but they murdered no one. They believe the jury did not consider all the evidence and that the judicial system failed them. I'm Kathy Gandolf for Channel 6 Action News at the Federal Courthouse. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on what we should do next in the comments. This is Infinite Lee Productions. We love ya.